Today I've got the Aegis belt from Ares Gear. Ares Gear has been making their Ranger belt since 2007, and they, I believe they used the Raptor or the Cobra buckle, kind of similar to the Raptor buckle on this brown coat tactical belt, and they wanted something that was a little bit less overt, and so they came out with the Aegis belt, which to some degree, I think not entirely. I mean, it's certainly less overt than, than the other one. It's not gonna be like a leather belt, and I'll get into that in a bit. As a public service announcement before I get into the video, I've done a bunch of other belt videos, and in every belt video, I show this belt. The, this is the belt that I wore to my concealed carry class because at the time, I thought this was a substantial belt. It seemed pretty thick and beefy, but if you're gonna do something that requires any type of load bearing, like say, carrying a gun, this belt is just not gonna cut it. It's gonna stretch, it's not gonna hold the weight well, it's not gonna distribute the weight well. So if you're gonna do anything like that that requires carrying some weight, do yourself a favor and get yourself a quality belt. This is great for wearing with normal clothes, but if you're gonna carry stuff, invest in a belt, they last forever. You'll appreciate it, your waist will thank you. All right, back to the Aegis belt here. This belt comes in a couple different colors, black, coyote, and gray. The buckle comes in three colors, black, melanite finish, a bronze copper type color and a bead blasted silver. Uh, I had some concerns before about the melanite, how it would hold up, if it would chip or anything like that. There are a few areas, I don't know if you can see it here in the corner, where there's just a little bit of chipping. Uh, I don't really have any concerns about it. It's really not a big deal at all, but the black finish with hard use may wear away a little bit. Uh, for me, again, not really a concern, but if you're concerned about that, get one of the lighter colors like the bead blasted silver that you shouldn't have that problem with. Some companies I've seen will actually engrave some logos and different pictures on here, flags, helmets, other things like that. You can check out one of those if you like. Aries Gear briefly had a belt, I think it was the ST Enhanced Belt, where the, or SK, sorry, SK, I think for skeletonized maybe, where the center of this was cut out, and I thought that looked really nice. Yeah, you could see through to the webbing. I thought it was a really nice looking belt. Unfortunately, they only made it for a brief time. They don't have them anymore. I wish you would come back with that because I would love to have one. Anyway, that said, um, this is a, the webbing on this, it's nylon scuba webbing. It's very stiff, as you can see, it holds its shape nice and stiff. They actually have a stiffer version of this, the Aegis Enhanced Belt, which has some extra reinforcement. Although having worn this one for a month or so now, this seems plenty stiff. I can't imagine I would need it stiffer, but for the most part, I carry a gun and uh, maybe some extra magazines. So I don't really need a whole lot more uh, weight load bearing type capabilities. Price on this, around 90 to 110, depending on where you find it. Some places you can find a little bit of a discount. So it's an expensive belt compared to a lot of the other options, but I think it's good quality. I've been very happy with it. The way the buckle works, it's a very thick, substantial buckle there has this bar here, it's kind of like the older, maybe current style military belts. You push the bar down and then you can pull the webbing out. Put it back in, pull the bar up and it's now tightened. And as you wear this, the more you wear it and put load on it, the belt can actually only get more tight on tight as far as being more secure because pulling the webbing is actually gonna pull that bar up and it's gonna make it just that much more snug, not gonna come off. It comes, they give you two keepers with it, and they're just elastic sewn on there, and you can tuck the other end of the belt into it if you need be. The only downside of these is that they're not sewn in, and if you're not careful, you can lose these. I actually lost one of these the first day I had the belt. I found it, but I'll show you how easy they are to lose if you're not careful. Go ahead and put it on. On, feed it through, tighten it down, and then just pull that bar. If you need to tighten it some more, pull it a little bit more, pull the bar. The keeper here on the other side of my belt loop. Feed this through here, and then put the keeper on there. For me, I am a 32 inch waist. These belts come sized, so check out the sizes. I'm a 32 inch waist. I got the medium size, and as you can see, it sticks out a little bit here. And so I use this keeper so it doesn't because that wouldn't be a huge deal if it was like that, but I like just a little bit cleaner look, so I use this. If I had to do again, I think I would get the small. If I get another color of this, I would get the small, which is two inches shorter, and I think that would put it just right under the, the belt loop here. So I may look into that if I get a second color. As far as the looks of this, it's a nice look. It's not as overt, certainly, as something like the Raptor or the Cobra belt buckles. 
It's not, I think, as overt as one of these, like this wilderness tactical buckle uh, and belt. But it's going to be a little bit more than just a regular leather belt with a tang and buckle. But I think it, it's, it's overall a nice look. It doesn't scream tactical. Some people I saw in another review where someone said that he could wear it with a suit, he thought. Uh, I would not wear this with a suit. It's nylon webbing uh, to each his own, I guess. But this is certainly not dressed enough that I would wear it with a suit. But I guess more so than one of these for what that's worth. Anyway, now let me show you taking it off. Here's where you can lose the keeper. So just get it off. All you have to do is pull on it a little bit to tighten a little bit. That loosens the buckle, loosens the little bar. Pull it out and then you can pull this out. Now if you're not careful, when you pull it out, you can see the keeper here is staying on the other side of the belt loop. And if you're not careful, it will stay there. And you can pull it all the way off the belt when you get that other end through. So you just need to be careful. Feed it through your belt loop and then you can pull it off. That's how I lost it the first day. But otherwise, that is about it. I really like this belt. I may get one in another color. I may get one of the, the gold with the, the bronze buckles. But check one out, the Aegis belt from Aries Gear.